Now in its 24th year, the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad is the oldest and most prestigious nationwide mathematics competition among high school students. After its trial run in 1984, it was officially launched in 1986 and has been held annually since 2007. The country's contestants to the International Mathematical Olympiad are chosen from the top students who compete in the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad. The PMO is a project of the Mathematical Society of the Philippines and the Department of Science and Technology Science Education Institute. Good day, everyone. In this video, we are going to explore some important properties and insights when solving problems involving the floor function or the greatest integer function. Let's say we have a real number x. Then we can talk about the greatest integer that is less than or equal to x. This is precisely what we will refer to as the greatest integer function or the floor function for x. For example, we can talk about the greatest integer less than or equal to an integer, like 5, which uh, will be itself. The greatest integer less than or equal to pi is 3. Since uh, pi is around 3.14, no? we can uh, get that the greatest integer less than or equal to pi is 3. We can also talk about that for a negative number, like negative 4.2. The greatest integer less than or equal to negative 4.2 is negative 5. We also sometimes refer to the floor of x as the integer part of x. Also, by, by the definition, we have the useful property that x should be greater than or equal to its integer part, but should be less than the integer that follows. Let us consider, for example, this problem from the 18th PMO qualifying stage part two, number 10. Find the sum of uh, the summation uh, i from 1 to 2015 of the floor of square root of i all over 10. So in order to attack this problem, we first observe that uh, Square root of i all over 10 is a positive number for each uh, i. So therefore, the floor of that uh, ratio will always be a non-negative integer. We can let n be a non-negative integer. And then if we pick one non-negative integer to be the value of the floor of square root of i all over 10, then we can use the definition introduced earlier that square root of i all over 10 must be greater than or equal to n, but less than n plus 1, the next integer. So we can also multiply the inequality by 10 in order to get uh, that square root of i must be greater than or equal to 10n, but less than the next multiple of 10. We could uh, find the values of i for which uh, n takes a certain value. So for example, when, when we have n is equal to 0, we need the values of i to satisfy this inequality. So we need square root of i to be at least 0, but less than 10. So i can be from 0 up to 99. So n will be equal to 0 for the first 99 values of i. So we can do the same for n equals 1, and we will have this result. Okay. We need our i to be at least 100, but less than 400. So the values of i that will work for this case is 100, 101, all the way to 399. Okay. So n will be equal to 1 for 300 values of i. So we can just continue to proceed until we get to 2015 for our i. And we will be able to get this. N will be equal to 2 for 500 values of i. N will be equal to 3 for 700 values of i. No. Uh, and lastly, N will be equal to 4 for 416 values of i. No. Uh, notice here that we are stopping at uh, 2015. If, if our summation will continue, no, the N equals 4 case will end with 2,499. 
assuming our index of summation reaches that. So once we have this summary, we can now actually solve no, the summation from uh, 1 to 2015. So we have that the summation is we just multiply the frequency of each value of n and we add the results, we should get 5064. So 5064 is now the final answer to our example problem. The Mathematical Society of the Philippines is the country's premier professional organization dedicated to the promotion of mathematics research and education in the country. Founded in 1973, it has grown from a small Manila-based group of math educators to a nationwide network of individuals with chapters all over the country. The Philippine Mathematical Olympiad is organized by the Mathematical Society of the Philippines in partnership with the Department of Science and Technology Science Education Institute. The 24th PMO will be held online in two stages, the qualifying stage in February 2022 and the national stage in March 2022. The start of the registration is January 2022. More details are in our Facebook page and also in our webpage, pmo.ph.